I'm up in Essex at the yard of boats.co.uk. They've invited me out to take a look at a few of their boats. And one of the boats I was particularly keen to get is this Fairline Squadron 65, because I really like Fairlines and I don't feel I have enough of them on my channel. So this one's worth having a look at. It's a 2015 boat. And what I like about these boats is the attention to detail that Fairline put into them. They really go to the nth degree with these. And as soon as you step onto the boat, you find it. So for example, one of the very first things you notice is the way they cut away this section here so that the door when it's open is completely flush and when you close it it closes on gas struts so you don't have to find a catch to put across that just holds it neatly in place and that attention to detail carries on as we come in through the boat look at these handrails that they've put up here so that as you walk around the cockpit if the weather's not very good and the sea's a bit rough you've got something to hang on to now when you come into this boat it feels really classy the windows aren't as big as the current crop of boats but what that gives us a really cosy feel and again i love the detailing if you look at the overheads the way they've got this twin tone headlining and then you've got again handrails in the ceiling so if the weather's not great you've got something to grab hold of i like the way they've done the seating the way they squared it right off into the edges the tv is over on this side and then this one has got the galley in the center so you've got a big dinette over on the starboard side and then a galley opposite let's head on past that now this area is particularly good i really like this helm because what they've done with this is they split off the helm seat and the navigator seat so what that means is that you can walk through to either seat so people can get in and out without having to climb over each other but again look at the attention to detail look at the way they've done a twin tone color on here stitching down through here this nice material just looks really super classy and these seats as well these are proper recaro seats very nice and again the switch panel over here it is super classy i like that very much okay let's head on down to the lower deck these stairs i like the way that they've got a nice turn in them so you don't feel like you've got a long run down and we will head forward to begin with so this is your vip guest cabin so one of the things i noticed about this is just how light it is you've got a huge run of skylights in the ceiling it throws a lot of light into this room you've got wardrobes obviously tv built into here and then on this side you've got your ensuite and that is just for this cabin so the day toilet is here and that one has access into cabin number three, which again, really great size. And the access to that is there. But one thing you didn't often get on boats of this size and this era is a fourth cabin. And that's where this boat really scores because tucked away just back here, cabin number four. Now it's not huge, but it does have proper adult size bunk beds. And you've got loads of storage in these illuminated wardrobes so that is a very serviceable cabin in actual fact and that's a great feature on this boat but what it doesn't do is compromise the master cabin because that is fabulous and again that detailing look at the headlining in here look at the way they've put lighting around the headboard at the back that's really nice all the way around here and these big square windows in the whole sides plenty of storage space and i really like what they've done with the heads on this one because what they've done is they've put this glass panel in but obviously with a blind that you can close off if you want to and that makes this whole area feel a lot more spacious because it gives it the full width of the boat and as you go into here you've got your sinks his and hers or his and his or hers and hers and the shower at the back like so so you might be wondering well that's great but where's the toilet well the toilet's actually tucked in behind here so there is a door just there and that means of course that if someone's using the shower somebody else can come in here and use the loo or vice versa without getting each other's way that's a nice touch but yeah that's a great cabin okay let's head around on deck and i'll give you the tour of the outside of the boat here we go so back through this area, I do like this flooring in here. This flooring is fantastic. And this does feel so nice and spacious as you walk back through here. 
Really good. Okay. So flybridge access just here. Love these big chunky steps that they put in. Oh, feels really secure. Now the flybridge on this boat for a 65 footer is huge. And one thing that you don't normally get is these big sunbathing areas at the back. So you can have four people lying out here and you've still got masses of seating up ahead. Brilliant feature. This is for a bimini top, so if you're out in the hot weather, you can have this folded forward and a canvas top to give you some shade up here. And then the bar is over here with the barbecue and the sink. And that is, I believe, I'm right in saying, an ice maker and then a fridge as well. So everything you need is up here. You don't have to keep rushing up down the stairs every time you want to get some ice for your drink or top your drink up. There's more seating alongside the helm. And again, these are long enough that you can lie out. So if you want to be cruising along with people lying next to the helm, you can certainly do that. And in fact, it goes right around the front, which means that you can lie here under the shelter of this. Again, if you're going along, that's a nice feature. Lovely helm on this one. All the controls that you would expect. And a nice view today of boat.co.uk's huge yard. Cool. Again, look back from here, you can see the sheer scale of this flybridge. It's brilliant. Okay, so back down here, and we will have a look at a couple of other areas, including a crew cabin. So if four cabins is not enough for you, worry not. Because down here, unbelievably, cabin five. Here we go. Now this has got side-by-side -side beds. It's got a bit of kit in here at the moment, fenders and chairs for outside. But these are two decent-sized beds. So great for crew, but actually decent enough for a couple of adults or teenagers so they want to get themselves away because you've got a big window at the back of the boat so you don't feel like you are in a cave. You've got an ensuite at the end of the cabin and, amazingly, a full standing headroom. How good is that? And it's all nicely trimmed, Alcantara around here. It does not feel like a crew cabin. It feels every bit as good as the rest of the boat. So you could use this as a fifth cabin for guests if they don't mind not being part of the main party and for some, as I say, that may well be an advantage. Okay, so we'll finish off with a look under the floor. This one has a small lazarette area, so canopies, cushions, deck gear, anything you want to tuck away that you don't want to put inside the boat can go there. And then the engine room itself is underneath this one. I haven't been able to find the lights on this one, so it may not be too bright in here, but hopefully with the magic of GoPro, we'll see enough. Okay. So these are Caterpillar C18, 1150 horsepower. I don't know what the top speed is, but I'm guessing it's probably got to be up around 30 knots for those engines, and they're big engines. Huge tanks either side, so that should give you a pretty decent range. And then all your circuit breakers easily accessible on the back. One or other bits and pieces, and the generator is also very get atable. I'm not sure if that's a real word, but it works for me. So that's it engineering space, engine room, exhausts, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so back up. So that's it, that's Fairline Squadron 65. Now Fairline are very much a company on the front foot at the moment. And when you see boats like this, you can understand why. I like this, very nice.